All right, folks, the uh, uh, UTEC, Yotech, I don't know how you pronounce it, has arrived. It's a little hard to see here, but trust me, it does say Yotech. And we're going to do the unboxing right after the intro here. And uh, check out this new charging pad. See what's in the box and do a review. See how it works with this phone and the magic tag. And of course, if it works with that, it'll work with any wireless charging product. Uh, it's a 10 watt charger. Let's do the intro back in a second. All right, folks, there it is, the U-Tech, or Yo-Tech, however you want to pronounce it. Not much on the box, a uh, little bit of FCC info on the back. Uh, we're going to get the plastic tore off it here and unbox it and, you know, show my normal retardation at unboxing stuff. And we'll try not to hit the uh, phone mount too often here. Get that plastic off of it. Always a nice feeling to do. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to get this SMB open. It looks like it should open quite easily from the bottom. Wow. So, not as much retardation today as I had expected. Whoa, and we got some cables. We're gonna toss the box. And, uh, there we got in the box. We got some instructions here. I swear to God, I'll read them all. Every one of them eventually. But in the meantime, and they are in English, I believe. I obviously. Yep, your case thickness has to be less than four millimeters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's in all kinds of languages. I just don't see English. <laughs> I mean, why would you have it in English at all? I mean, all right. Now, let's check out what else came in the box. Important notice. Uh, and. Before starting your wireless charging experience, there are six things you might need to pay attention to. Your new charger is compatible with Qi enabled devices such as iPhone M10, blah, 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 blah. It is usually slower than wired charging, but with its convenience, it's more widely used. Its input is five volts, two amps, and nine volts at 1.6 amps. So don't use the, uh, the next thing down says, yeah, don't use the uh, iPhone charger with it. Quick charge 2.0, 3.0 wall adapter, required access, 10 watts, fast wireless charging for the Samsung Galaxy, yada, yada. It is not to be used with phone cases containing metal rings, etc. Okay, we got all our warnings there. And we got a couple of cables here. We have a uh, USB C to uh, USB C cable. I guess we're plugging into various forms of charger, and which is impressive. And then we have the uh, uh, USB to uh, USB-C again. Full-size USB, though. For plugging in maybe to uh, uh, something not quite so highly powered. Now well, let's check the device itself. Get it out of there if we can. Yeah, I knew there'd be something that would prove to be 
a royal pain. Okay, now we got her out of there. And we spilled our cables everywhere. So we got some spare charging cables there. Nice ones too, really heavy duty. And uh, there you have it, it's the Utec. So let's uh, pull off that plastic wrap. Oh yeah, I know everyone likes that, I don't know why. But it's cool. And let's see what kind of power it uses. And that appears to be a micro. Yep, that's a micro USB port, which will be fine because right over here, I've already got a micro USB port plugged into the Senio. So let's, without further ado, get her plugged in and see if it works. Let's do that right now. All right, folks, the moment of truth. We've got the uh, product out by Utech, Utech, however you pronounce that. It, it's uh, quite a heavy little device for its size. Has a rubber ring around the back, so it's not gonna go sliding all over your desk on you. It's gonna stay there pretty darn solid. Now, of course somebody, <laughs> right in the middle of doing a video, I get, as usual, a notification of some sort. Probably telling me that this has been delivered because they never did that. Uh, but you don't care about that, do you? No, you shouldn't. All right, so we're gonna use the Alcatel here. Uh, I've got the magic tag on the outside. Rather than inside the case, but the case is very thin anyway, so it won't have any effect. This whole ring down here should light up green, solid, for about 16 seconds. Yes, while we were going, I read the owner's manual. Now, this device also uses a USB-C. So I had to use one of the included cables to plug into my uh, new mobile G3, which is down on the floor plugged into an outlet with a, a million other things. And uh, it, these are very high quality cables, by the way, folks, and plenty long. So let's, without further ado, let's get her up there and see if we can nail it on the first try. Never easy, is it? No. Okay, we got a solid green light. Now, in a second now, the Alcatel will tell us it's charging. And there we go. We're at 93%. We're almost charged up anyway. So, but I had to find a phone to use it with so I could show you, because I wanted to do all the shooting on the MIE two here because of the good focusing and all that other good stuff. So this is definitely worth the price. Check the description below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like news like this and want us to keep buying products. We're gonna need more subscribers so we can start making a little money. Of course, if you read that description, you'll see a donation link in there. Throw us a buck, it'll help. Uh, on that note, I'm gonna say, have a great afternoon. And uh, go watch some football. That's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Remember, like, subscribe, and uh, share the video. Catch you later.